Top of the morning, friends. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options and your morning market preparation video for September 4th, 2017. So it's 10 4 day, one of those days that we celebrate the truckers, I guess, in our life. 10 4. Um, and my goodness, have we seen a tremendous run in this market extremely strong gapping away moving higher here in the diamonds just seems like there's nothing getting in the way of the bulls money seems to be pouring into this market but i have to believe at this point that we're starting to show just a little bit of stress and that stress is just nothing bad here i don't want anybody th to think i'm suggesting bearishness <clears throat> i'm just thinking there's a lot of people probably out there a little bit like me thinking it's time to start taking some money to the bank and what i mean by that is just a little bit of profit taking we may see a little bit of a pullback begin or a little bit of rest but please understand we could still see this market move higher so I just want to be very focused on price action. I don't want to let some of these profits go away. And I'm going to um, not be looking so much for new trades today as I am going to be focusing on profit taking and just, you know, taking a little bit to the bank. Now, that doesn't mean I may take the, an entire position off. It just means that I want to get some get some money on this run greed can really get in the way of taking profits and i know we all want more you know you give you give me a dollar and i want two and we're all that way we all want more <clears throat> but when we see this kind of a sharp rally you know it's wonderful to take advantage of that it's wonderful to have been in this but it's time to start thinking about you know, relieving some of the stress on those trades by taking some of it off, putting a little bit of that profit in the bank. So having said that, let's take a look at the SPY here. SPY, tremendous strength here moving up. And you can see this morning that the SPY is actually looking for just a little bit of a dip right here this morning. Now, this could just rest and go sideways. Wouldn't that be amazing if, if we just... Um, just went sideways here if we set a little consolidation period across here that would be incredible strength you know kind of like this consolidation right in here <clears throat> hopefully without the volatility that we saw here just a little rest to let the market kind of take a breath and get used to this altitude let's take a look at iwm now if if the diamonds and the spy has been impressive um iwm has just been absolutely incredible seeing the strength here in iwm the, uh, you know at one point yesterday it looked like it was going to it was showing a little stress and then by the end of the day those bulls just picked it right back up and pushed it to a new record high and you can see it's showing just a little bit of stress this morning a little tiny pullback <clears throat> in that it's nothing to be worried about but here again just incredible strength in the IWM and um, probably uh, you know we need to err on the side of caution here putting a little bit of money in the bank expecting some profit taking to begin here at really at any time now those poor cues the doggone cues have just kind of struggled here why all the other indexes have been wildly bullish this one has been having some trouble there's nothing here that's really bearish about this um clearly we've rallied right back up to resistance here and uh, we're not really failing at this point but this would be right where you'd want to be watchful of a failure um if you if i were to draw in a bearish candle or something and, and I'm not saying it's going to be dramatic like that, but, you know, that would be the exact reason why we don't want to chase right here um, in the queues. We could end up with that resistance high up here. And notice that this past low was a, a lower low. Okay. So we made this lower low. Now we could be hitting a resistance point. 
And that would point to, if we have a failure pattern here, that would point to a lower potential low here in the market um, on the queues. Now, the best case scenario is if we do pull back or if we rest right up here. And that's what I would love to see. I would love to see this just consolidate right in here. Just, just lay out here, rest. Um, take a little break, not show us a ton of volatility. Just put in a nice little box pattern here. Nice little consolidation. And then we could watch for this to either pop higher or pop lower. Don't know. I'm not going to predict which way. I would just wait for that. And of course, one other scenario, which would be equally bullish, is a slight pullback, a higher low get established. Actually, showing us the beginning of an uptrend that could possibly have the momentum to pop us through. So lots of different ways to look at that, but right now just a little bit of concern and I sure wouldn't want to be chasing anything in the queues at this moment. Okay. So on the economic calendar today, we're going to take a real quick look at the economic calendar because we're heading in kind of a busy um, end of the week on the calendar. We have ADP today. Now, ADP has been missing the mark terrible um, lately. They're expecting 140K today, but th they've just had terrible swings in this um, in this um, report, missing the mark tremendously. So I honestly think it's beginning to lose some credibility with traders. We have PMI services, which is not expected to move the market. ISM um, is the more important number here. And that number is, is looking for just a tiny little, um, tiny little gain. Um, nothing major here. I wouldn't expect that to move the market. Probably the big, biggest number of the day is going to be this petroleum status report. And as we've seen in oil prices, I think most of the market is kind of expecting that we're going to see supplies continue to decline today with this number. So if we happen to get a surprise increase in supplies, that could definitely be, um, uh, and have an effect on the market. So watch that number. And then we've got the feds, a uh, couple fed speakers. We've got uh, one at three and then Janet herself will be speaking at three fifteen today after the market close. Okay. Uh, excuse me. That's not after the market close. Um, what was I thinking? I'm thinking my time. Uh, this is before the market close. So we do have to pay attention to those. And then just notice the rest of the week, we've got some important numbers, international trade, jobless claims, um, factory orders coming in. And then the big number of the month is going to be um, the employment situation report. Um, there's a very good chance that the market could kind of stall, be choppy as we wait for this number now. So... Um, and it's it's not unusual for us to get very slow and choppy um, heading into that number. So you might want to watch that as you're or plan that in as you're planning your day today. Um, on the economic calendar today, or excuse me, the earnings calendar today, we have 14 companies reporting earnings. Um, nothing that would be what I would consider um, a major market moving um, in any way. But a couple to really take note of, I guess, would be Monsanto, M-O-N. Monsanto um, is reporting earnings today. And let's see, is that... Uh, yeah, that's before the market opened. Looks like it may have already reported and has missed. You can see... Um, could be moving lower here already this morning. And then um, PepsiCo is also reporting today and looks like it already has reported as well. And you can see it's gapping significantly lower this morning. Um, so that didn't, didn't do very well. Um, so let's be careful um, and keep an eye on some of these as, as those reports come out. Nothing to nothing major to worry about, though. Last but not least, I want to mention the VIX. And I think this is important just simply because the VIX has um, showed a little bit of a rally yesterday. 
Now, it's, it's kind of odd when you see the VIX moving higher with the market. But I think it's just that little bit of clue that the market may be showing a little bit of stress. Not, not that it's going to just roll over or fall off a cliff or anything like that. Just showing a little bit of stress. And that may be one of those clues showing up here in the VIX. A little bit of fear is creeping in that we're just getting a little overextended. So keep an eye on that today and kind of think toward those profits. Think about going to the bank rather than chasing around a whole bunch of new trades today. Um, at least that would be my opinion until or if we see um, those bulls step in and really start pushing things higher, then hey, you know, um, go ahead and stay long those trades. Um, I, I personally will be kind of focused on pulling some of that risk off of the market while um, this either pulls back or rests. Okay, everyone. <clears throat> hey, if this is the first time you've seen this information, I put this out every single day that the market is open. Um, the idea is I believe in preparation um, for the market day. I don't believe in luck. And so I work really hard at looking over the market and setting my mindset for the day. What am I plan? What am I going to do? And that really um, dictates how I'm going to approach the market Um in the morning. So if you find this helpful, um, please do me a favor and click on that subscribe button on YouTube and the follow me button on Facebook. And please feel free to share this with your friends and family and that kind of thing. If they might find it useful, um, that's great. Also, you know, feel free to drop a comment, um, you know, click those like buttons. I really do appreciate that as well. Hey, I want to wish everyone a great day and great profits. And, um, you know, trying to, trying to think about, you know, uh, going to the bank on a consistent basis when we see rallies like this, don't, don't chase in to this. Okay. <clears throat> Take care. Have a great day. And I'll talk to you all soon.